Glueless and all, girl. No cutting the lace. No nothing. Wow. Look at it. Oh. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Listen long, long enough, you can love me. Hi ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I am back with somebody else's hair and guess what? It is wine and wigs day. Clink, 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 clink. Mm. It's wine and wigs day and I'm actually having a little sip. Now this one's, I'm drinking, this is like a new drink of mine. It's weird, it's giving very much Mott's. I'm having a little Casamigos, a little Casa, and a little apple juice. <laughs> I'm not gonna explain it. Let's go ahead and get into this week. Now for the hair. Baby, this is a closure. I'll tell y'all right now, okay? This wine and wigs day is about to be lit because it's quick, it's easy, and it's cute, girl. It's perfect for summertime because y'all know we ain't gonna be out here with anything stuck to our forehead and it's glueless, girl. Baby, this is glueless. Can I get up under here? Baby, look at that. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Girl, it's a miracle that this thing is still on my head. Glueless end up back here, lace everywhere. I, but this one did its thing. So before we get into that, I wanna ask y'all a quick question. Can you hit the subscribe button and the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post? Cause I'm coming to you every single week with brand new wigs, brand new um, drinks at this point, brand new personalities. And I wanna say thank you to OQ Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. This wig is the Deep Wave Wear and Go Glueless Wig with pre-cut lace. It's 22 inches long and 180% density. It has a four by six HD lace closure that is pre-plucked. And if you pop the hood on this wig, you can see that it comes with no combs inside, no adjustable straps, but it does come with a piano key elastic band. So you're able to wear this wig glueless comfortably. The premise of a wear and go wig is that you can pull her out the box, shake her out, plop her, on her, plop her on your head and punch it. Now I'm gonna do a full review of that claim. Is it gonna be wear and go or is it not? What did I have to do to this wig to make sure it was glueless and I could wear her comfortably? So I only did a couple things to make this wig look like this. Girl, I didn't have to do much. We're gonna go ahead and get into everything that I did to make this wig look more like me. So if you would like to see all the stuff that I did to customize this wig, please keep on watching and I'll be back at the very end with my final thoughts and a coupon code. Okay y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the base. Y'all know this is supposed to be quick and simple. This is supposed to be a ready to wear little mommy. So let's go ahead and see if that's what she gonna give. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the base. I'm gonna use the same thing I always use. Girl, I feel like I'm tied through and delayed. Shout out to Rodney the Voice Girl. I'm always doing the same thing. Pop the wig grip on. I like to keep it simple, so. The easiest way to do that, girl, is get a skin tone wig cap, a wig grip, plop it on, and punch it, girl. Now, let's go ahead and try on this wig. So this is a ready to wear wig. The mama already got, she already features pre-cut lace. The knots are not bleached, and you have an elastic band here, so I wanna see what she gives. See this hair all over um the social media social media okay so this is the hair this is what it's looking like this is what the hairline looks like so the knots are really small so they don't need to be bleached i don't think you can see them from here so what i do need to do though is tint this lace because ain't no way this is gonna melt into my skin this lace is supposed to be hd lace but the tone okay but the hairline looks good like what do y'all think come on we just need to do a little bit of tweaking. So we're going to tint our lace. Y'all know when I tint my lace, I love to use the Flawless Illusion Kellen Derrick Lace Tint Spray. I say the same thing. Does it have the best shipping, customer service? Mm, not so much, but the product is really, really good. So buy at your own risk. I'm just going to go ahead and use that, spray that onto the lace and get this lace the perfect color. So you can wear her glueless or not. I'm just going to go ahead and take her off i'm gonna take the lace tint and i'm just gonna spray it onto the lace just spray the lace make sure i'm not getting on my computer either so i sprayed it all over the lace and what i like to do next is take 
a little brush or something and then I like to blend it into the lace like really distribute it all over the lace and focus on the front Girl, I'm so happy I don't have to cut lace today. You know what? It's like the smallest things with doing my wigs that makes me irritated. And cutting lace is one of them. Blending it in. And then next, I'm going to go ahead and take my Dyson blow dryer. Because the hairline has already been flattened. I really don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to take my Dyson blow dryer. And I'm going to blow dry it on high and cool. Just so we can set in the color. Baby, it's basically like bacon lace, girl. I wanted to see if like I could toss on the wig now. If this is like a ready-to-wear wig after tinting the lace. Like, can I walk out the front door right now and y'all ain't gonna clap me? That's the question I got. I think so. I think so. Oh, I think so. Oh, girl. Bye, girl. I can leave. This is doing a lot, but I'm just saying. I was looking for my Amazon order. <laughs> but I can walk out the front door. Like, really, look at that. I'm looking at my viewfinder right now. Do y'all want to do a glueless wig install today? I think I'm gonna do a glueless. After this, girl, we're gonna do a little. We're gonna do a little baby hair. We're gonna do a little flattening, and then we're gonna punch it out the door because glueless is it, girl. I don't have time, and plus I don't have time today. I don't feel like it. So for the hairline, what I want to do is flatten it. Now it's already been pre-flattened and pre-curated. Um, so I want to cure it a little bit more so do I have a wax stick in here I know I do so I'm gonna use my she is bum hair wax stick y'all know I've been using this lately I like her a little bit but it's the push pop design I say this every single video that gets on my nerves um, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the wax stick to the hairline there's already wax on the hairline I haven't washed this wig or anything so take my hot comb this hot comb is the red by kiss hot comb it's all about this over here so I'm just flattening the hairline baby the way they plucked this thing it gives baby they, they said you know what we're gonna pluck this girl so I'm also gonna take the back of the comb it has like these raised edges I guess it's supposed to help flatten I don't know and I'm just gonna use that to like really reinforce the flatation. And as you can see, I'm doing this over my wig grip and my wig cap because I'm not playing with my forehead. I like my forehead, she cute. I'm just gonna go ahead and plop, plop this back on. Oh yes, oh yes. We done, girl. <laughs> okay, so this is what the wig looks like. Glueless and all, girl, no cutting the lace, no nothing. Wow. Are we gonna add some mousse? <gasps> I don't have any mousse. Well, I guess we'll do baby hairs while I wait on the Amazon to get here. So, usually for a closure wig, since this is a, this is a good closure wig, baby. What I like to do is add baby hairs, like to cover up the closure. But I kinda don't gotta do that, so. I'm just gonna add baby hairs just to be cute. On both sides, and then we're just gonna cut them down and lay them down. Okay, so these are the little t baby hair tendrils. And then we're going to do natural baby hair tendrils. This really looks good. Like, I actually am like, wow. Oh, wow. I really like these. The only thing you're going to need scissors for is to cut down your baby hairs. So I'm going to take this little hair. And I like tiny baby hairs. So I'm going to cut them short. And I like to cut them at an angle. Mm-hmm take a baby hair brush that don't look like I don't scrub the ground with it so we're gonna use the even wonder lace bond gel I love this gel well I like this gel but it's a really really sticky gel like after I use this this whole office feels like a big old lollipop so I got my baby hair brush and I'm just gonna lay down these baby hairs y'all not waiting on this gel to dry Okay, we're gonna lay down a baby hair. I don't know why I did, that was so like dramatic. What was going on? <laughs> I'm just gonna lay this down like so. And for the hairline, I like for my, I like to brush down like my hairline. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that gel and go over the hairline. Cause I like to reinforce like a good hairline. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Which side do you like better, the non-baby hair side? or the baby hair side. We're gonna go ahead and do the natural baby hairs. Y'all know I like to do like a little fake baby hair down here just to make it look more realistic. So I'm gonna go ahead and use 
This is the same brand as the wax stick. I'm gonna use the She Is Bomb collection edge control. It's fast drying, this is water-based, so if you're using it on your natural hair, it may revert. This, this baby hair breast look a mess, but don't look too close. I'm not gonna zoom y'all in. So I'm just gonna take my little baby. I actually just trim these baby hairs so they're easier to lay down. So there we go. You see them? There they go. Wow, it matches a little bit. So when the wind blows, you won't be able to tell. So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna go ahead and lay down these baby hairs and then I'm gonna do the gel up top and then we're gonna add the mousse and it will be done. So it's been like, I think like an hour I ate. I waited for my Amazon packages to come in so I can get my hair done. My mousse was a little bit late because it was scheduled to come by six. But anyways, we got it. We got the mousse, we got the goods. We got the Shea Moisture, Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. And we have our Evolve 572 brush. We use both to get the best curls, the best mousse on. Okay, so I'm gonna section away the hair. This hair is actually not super thick. Like I can feel that it's not super thick, which is good. The Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse is perfect for looser curls. Not the squeak. I like using this, but this hair, this mousse takes much longer to dry. So I'm just gonna comb through the hair, I'm brush through it, I'm get these curls going. And I can work in larger sections with this hair because the hair is finer. So see, that's what the curls is looking like at the end. Let's do it all over the head. So, y'all know the routine, you get the gist. Y'all already know what I always do. And we'll go ahead and take off this headband after all of this is complete. So, after we added mousse all over the hair. I feel like my brain is somewhere else. <laughs> take me on vacation. Brush through the hair. Like so. And, oh, you see? Okay, let's keep going. I'm just gonna keep going until the full head is complete. This is gonna be quick. I'm already halfway through this side, so.
Oh my God, I am sweating. But this is the finished look, friend. Oh my God, am I too bright? I think I'm too bright. First of all, my back's wet because that Dyson is real hot, okay? And this hair is still technically not dry because why am I jumping into this complaining? It's giving very much, uh, what's her name? Lisa Bonet. Like the curls are more like lock-ish. Can't explain it, but baby, this is the finished look. Let me show you what the bag looks like. Oh my God, I'm so hot. <laughs> Let me quit complaining. But this is the bag. Let me quit running my mouth. This is what the hairline looks like. Like that hairline, period. I'm done. You're done, we're done. Let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and get into the pros and cons. So we'll start off positive and then we'll do the cons. Pros are that, I mean, it's obvious. It's pre-cut, it's pre-plucked, You do, it's glueless, it's an effortless wig. And you can literally take her out of the pack, add a little lace tint if it doesn't match the tone of the lace, and then that's it. It's amazing. The hair is gorgeous. Like, I love everything about it. Now, my cons would be, I wish that the lace wasn't so light. Like, the lace is, like, white. But I do wish it was just, like, a little bit warmer or a little bit deeper, um, closer to the skin tone, um, closer to my skin tone. Am I being selfish? Yeah. Also, I wish the knots were bleached. You cannot see the knots though because they're super tiny. So it really doesn't make much of a difference. But I do wish the knots were bleached. If the knots were bleached, girl. Yeah, that's it. I think the hair, I mean, this hairline is just perfection. Like literally, the lace closure stops right here, technically. And you can't even tell. Like, what? This closure is the innovation of the nation. Yeah, that's basically everything. Y'all tell me what you think about this hair down below. What do you think? And I do want to say thank you to OQ Hair for providing this week to me and sponsoring this video. Baby, this one's going with me on the vacation. I will leave a link for this unit down below. I also will leave the coupon code down below because I'm not sending you out the door without getting no money off. It's tax season. Get as much money as you can off. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.